Welcome to PLC eUniversity. This is a another new product announcement, one of many new products. And this new product is a universal digital field device simulator, a device that connects to a controller by way of an I.O. module or I.O. modules. The input simulators are all non-polarity sensitive, meaning they're all dry contacts. These six pairs of switches, if you will, those LED lit indicators are also push buttons. Adjacent to each switch is a push button. Now, they're not all wired up exactly the same. The top one is more of a special purpose. These pair of switches represent the simulation of one digital input on your controller. The output devices are 24 volts DC, and all six of these indicators have one common negative conductor, and then they each have a unique conductor that goes back to the output card. Back to these six multi-state input device simulators. Input zero is a four-state device simulation. It's a toggle switch, but it wired with it or connected with it in a common circuit is the push button to the right that has form C contacts. So the four states are you can have this input maintained off, maintained on, or you can use it as a normally open push button or a normally closed push button. And the reason for doing this, two purposes. The main one is convenience when you're testing your logic. Sometimes you want to flip a switch and say the object is the presence of sense, it's there, I want to leave it like that and then come back later and do something different. In other cases, you want a momentary change in state and a push button is best for that. All of these input simulations have push buttons working with the toggle switch, but the top one, the red one, has four states in that when the switch is down, the red button is a normally open. When the switch is up, the red button is a normally closed. The other five are simply three state device simulation, maintained off, maintained on, or normally open. The six output device simulators have very high visibility. And notice on this end of the enclosure, you have two power connectors. They're connected in parallel. This allows you to daisy chain this digital field device simulator with a second digital field device simulator if you want 12 inputs and 12 outputs instead of just six and six. But also it allows you to daisy chain to a analog field device simulator. All of these field device simulators have a power switch and indicator. Sometimes the electrical interface between this digital field device simulator and your controller. And remember that this is not PLC specific. It's not brand specific. This digital field device simulator, it will function with anybody's controller. These indicators are 24 volts DC and they have a negative common. Other than that, there is no other sensitivity to polarity. The cable that comes out of this digital field device simulator, each wire is a unique color. They are all individually marked though, so it's very easy to determine what terminal on your input module's terminal block to land these conductors on. And we do manufacture them with 30 inches or more length. This permits the simulator to lay flat on the bench in front of you, or if you mount it to our lab station, you can tuck the excess cable away or cut it off and re-terminate. The lab station was designed to accept the mounting spacing on these enclosure. The spacing from the top to the bottom matches perfectly the slide T-nuts in the lab station. Also, these are professionally machined and digitally printed before they are assembled. These are currently available in the PLC U University's bookstore at www.plcprofessor.com. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to show you a new product.